Welcome to Woody's Kids. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. It's so great to have you with us today. We're starting a new series of videos all about people from the Old Testament. The person we're thinking about today had lots of brothers. I don't know about you, if you've got lots of brothers or sisters, but this person had 11. That would get a bit crazy, I think. <laughs> and he also had a very special, colourful coat that his father gave him. Have a think and see if you know who it could be. Why don't we go over to Izzy for a bit of a warm up to get all of those wriggles out before we hear about our story. Over to Izzy. Let's start with some marching. Let's get our knees up really high and swing your arms. Now, it's a start of the autumn. End of summer, so why don't we zip up our coats. Zip, zip, That's one I'll walk and do all the things. That's one arch again. Yeah. And we can see the leaves falling. So you can see the leaves falling. Down. And up. She's falling down. And up. Let's do some jumping. Let's do some star jumps. Can you do these? Let's see what else we can do for that clip. Did you guess what our story is about? It's all about Joseph. It is. Now Joseph mm. had lots of brothers, but the brothers were a bit jealous of him and they even sold him as yeah. a slave. <gasps> you tie me up. <laughs> now that meant that they sold him to people who put mm. him to work mm. and he didn't have any choice in the matter. God's favour was on him even mm. then and he got promoted mm. and got he trusted in God but things didn't get much better because then he got put in prison. Go to prison! Mm. Ah. But even in prison God's favour was on him. He trusted in God and God gave him a gift to be able to tell people what their dreams meant. He told the people in prison what their dreams meant and he even told the king, the pharaoh of Egypt, what his dream meant. The pharaoh got him out <laughs> of prison. You can come prison! <coughs> he was put in charge of so many things, of sorting out all the food in the land and he even got a chance to forgive his brothers and um, it ended really well. Bye.
Bye. Bye. Thanks, Claire. That was so great to learn more about Joseph. And just like when Joseph was in prison and was a little bit scared, he trusted in God. And we can do the same thing if we're in a new place or if we're just feeling a little bit scared or anxious, we can ask God to come and help us. Isn't that such a great thing to remember? Thank you so much for coming to watch us today. We really loved having you with us. Why don't we go over to one of our families for a little prayer before we go. Bye. Thank you, God, for our friends. And thank you for not making us scared when we're scared. Thank you for sending our angels. Amen.